drawing conclusions. Shruti was amazed to see all the fish. She looked around the massive tanks. There were hundreds of fish, crabs, shrimp, and other amazing ocean creatures surrounding her. She was able to explore the worlds underwater without even getting wet. Where is Shruti? What conclusion can you draw? Was she swimming in the ocean? Was she visiting an aquarium? First, ask yourself, what are the main facts? There were massive tanks. She could see hundreds of fish, crabs, and other amazing ocean creatures around her. She could explore the world underwater without getting wet. What we know, aquariums have massive tanks in which we can see different underwater creatures. So, first we must take facts that the author shares plus what we already know equals drawing a conclusion. The conclusion we can draw is that Shruti is visiting an aquarium. When you read, you look for clues to help you decide what is happening in the story. Sometimes, the author doesn't tell you everything that is happening. You have to think about the facts given, plus what you know, to draw a conclusion. Drawing conclusions helps us deepen our understanding of what is happening in the story. Let's look at another example. Ram heard his mother blow the car horn. He ran down the stairs, slipping on his t-shirt as he ran. What conclusion can you draw from what you just heard? A. Ram likes to run. B. Ram was hungry. C. Ram was in a hurry. Or D. Mother was in the house. When we piece together the facts, 1. Mom is in the car waiting. 2. Ram is running and dressing at the same time. Then we know he is getting late and is in a hurry. But be careful now. Don't jump to conclusions. Jumping to conclusions is basically making a conclusion without knowing the full facts. Thanks, Mithali. Drawing conclusions is basically using facts from the text with what you already know to make a final decision. It's kind of like solving a mystery. You put together all the facts and what you already know to make a final decision. The more you know about the world around you, the better you get at drawing conclusions. Let's try an example. Grog walked to the barn. He could hear the puppies as they cried for their mother. It would be a long night if she did not come back soon. Okay, the question is, Claude is A male or B female? You can easily conclude that Claude is a male as the text refers to him as he. Let's try one more. I knew there was trouble as soon as I walked in. The trash can has been turned over and the papers were scattered everywhere. The cushions were on the floor. One of them had been ripped open. As I looked around, I saw Ringo in the corner. He had another cushion in his mouth and was playing with it. What can you safely conclude from this passage? A. There was a burglary in the house. B. The trash can had a hole in it. C. Ringo was responsible for the mess. Or D. Ringo was a chimpanzee. If you think it's A, B, or D, you're wrong. The correct answer is C. Ringo was responsible for the mess. 